So we're gonna be uh, checking out pull blocks, or I believe in America this was called pull mo, or something like that. So this is one of these games that is going to be going away. Uh, push mo, thank you. That's the name of it. For those who don't know, uh, today is the last day of the Wii U eShop and the 3DS eShop. And there's quite a few games that they never got physical releases and there's just no other way to consume them other than, you know, sailing the high seas. So I went through today and I bought uh, a bunch of stuff that was on my radar for like the longest amount of time, but I guess I just didn't action it until now. So I'll go through the list in, in a bit, but um, first we're going to play this because it, it this I remember this. It was also on the 3DS, so I did get the 3DS versions as well, because um, there were three of them that released. And then the Wii U version, I guess I just... I didn't have a Wii U until recently, so... Anyway. Ah, okay. But yeah, it sucks for, uh... For a multitude of reasons. One is, like, preservation. There's just a bunch of games that... There's no real way to access them anymore through legal means. That's the key phrase there, through legal means. And, uh, I mean, for the existing library, like, eBay has, have already started raising their prices, like... I'm not kidding, okay. <laughs> I... I wanted to play Mario Galaxy too because I've been talking about it, and so... I went and, uh, I got a copy, I think last week, so that's still coming, and it was, it was pretty cheap. I paid like, uh, like 20 bucks for it. Pretty happy with that. I go to check eBay today and the prices are like at 40, 50 bucks, and it's just like, yep, because, uh, the eShop's closing and you won't be able to buy the digital version super cheap anymore, so now, hey, guess what's happening? Also, hey, Judy, how's it going? How's things? Long time no see. Anyway, I'll, st I'll stop talking, but, you know, I, I lament when things shut down and there's no alternate means and it just makes things more annoying to purchase legally. But yeah, I, I, I bought a bunch of games. Didn't spend that much, but... All right. Oh, Marlo, my boy. I'm so glad you're here. I'm afraid a child's got stuck inside this pool block. Oh, you'll rescue the little whippersnapper for me. Marvelous, I'm counting on you, lad. <laughs> By the way, you know how to move around these things, right? Just use the analog stick. Okay. Please pull the block out. Press B to grab it. Okay. Three steps. The premise of this is very simple. You bought your new 3DS for 230, and now you can't find them under 300. And you bought a, about a month and a half ago? Yeah. It's kind of annoying. Just how quickly stuff changes. Oh, it looks like the child is safe and sound. What a relief. Marla, could you please fetch the little rascal? So when I got the, uh, I was looking into getting the the DS modified. I was trying to see if I could find a 3DS one. Pre-modded. And the price of that was just insane. So, I went with an old 
3ds just because i was like okay i don't think i'm gonna play any of the games that are exclusive to the 3ds catherine flashbacks <laughs> edge 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 hey did you know you can undo remember you can undo okay But at least there's no, uh, there's no demon chasing me. This is just cute, so it's fine. I can't help but worry about the other children who are playing in the park, though. Oh, you'll come with me to check on them. Splendid, my boy. Let's go and check out the next pool blocks, then. <laughs> there's no demon yet? Okay. All right, but, uh, I mean, in terms of games, there was a Mario vs. Donkey Kong game that was, a, uh, it was digital only, but you got a copy, when you bought a copy of it on the Wii U, you would get a 3DS copy, and vice versa. So you were pretty much getting the game for both systems, so I picked that up. Um, I got the Pokemon games, the Game Boy ones, because those ones... They had the events pre-programmed in, so you didn't have to do anything dodgy. And also, they let you use the, uh, the transporter to bring them forward to other generations, so... Because I... I read about this. Because I used the app back in the day and subscribed to the service. The service was like a dollar, and so I subscribed to it once when I was playing, um... What was it? Like, Sun and Moon. This was off-stream. And so it let me download the Transporter app that is used for the Game Boy versions. So, apparently there's no way to acquire that now. The only way you could do it is if you bought the subscription back in the day and you downloaded the app then, so... That's cool. But yeah, I got, um, the six Game Boy games. It's my dog, Brutus. You sail the seas only buy for current gen. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but like, I did, I did get copies of Scarlet and Violet. They are kind of just sitting here. But the uh, the the reason I got them is like, if I do have a reason or nostalgia enough to play them, maybe not necessarily stream them. It sucks buying Pokemon games. It really does. Like once they they stop selling them in stores they double in price like it's kind of insane but why would brutus do such a thing even though it's like one of the highest selling games every time every time it releases it still gets to the point where like it doesn't matter that just to buy a secondhand copy sucks We must rec rescue this child at once. All right. Um, I got Animal Crossing as well. The, uh, the DS version, but that you play on the Wii U. So like the virtual console version of Animal Crossing for the DS. And the reason I got that, I heard um, that version of the game is considered definitive because the original to get the last shop, I believe you had to have someone actually visit your town. But because, you know, that's very difficult to do now. Um, the Wii U version does not have that requirement at all. That move is called a side pull. Okay. And then, there you go, child rescued. I like this game. It's pretty chill. I mean, I can see this being released for the Switch. Oh, another another trilogy that I bought. Um, Box Boy. They recently released the fourth one on Switch, but I hadn't played the original three. 
I, I think I bought the first one, and I really enjoyed it. So then I, I bought the other two. Because they were, they were excellent, those games. But digital only, so, you know. I will definitely play those ones. Yes. Here's a hint. Even though the box you're standing on is only two steps deep now. Okay. You can still use a side pull technique. Three steps. First, pull it out from the side until you run out of room to move. When that happens, go reposition yourself further back and do a side pull again. Hate tutorials. Yeah. No, I, I, I kind of agree. But I think for something like this, I need to pay attention because, again, remember what happened with Catherine? Just, it was... The first stage, I think it was 40 minutes of suffering before it clicked, like, how, how the gameplay worked. Just, I, I, I could not get past the first stage. But then suddenly, like, everything made sense, and then I was good at it, so... For this pull blocks, you just need to jump the gaps to reach the top. When a gap is only one square wide, you can jump across it and even land one level higher. Give it your best shot. Okay. Straightforward. I almost forgot to tell you. If you ever make a wrong move, like missing an important jump, you can rewind time. Okay. There's a limit how far you can rewind. That's fine. Doesn't, doesn't jump as far as you would think. Jump across the gaps. I think I must have missed it, but like, what is causing these children to get trapped inside a block? Tried Toad's treasure tracker. Uh, Captain Toad. Yeah. I have played it, but that's like... I played it when I did not have a good grasp on VODs. So I don't have VODs for that playthrough. That's another fun one. I might replay it at some point. It's like been... I, I will have definitely forgotten the puzzles, and I think it's cute enough, and it's it's short as well. But it's fun. The only thing I remember from it was, like, when Toad says, time for adventure, it's just, the voice is so scratchy, I thought it said, diaper adventure! Like, you know, it's a diaper adventure. An adventure with diapers. That's all I remember from it. That was the joke when I played that game. Is that what he says? Yeah, time for adventure. Ah, I'm a smoker! <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh. I need to drink water. One sec. I dis I'll destroy my vocal cords if I if I try to do a turd impression. I can somewhat do it. I should just stick to my warrior. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm also seeing the Mario movie uh, next weekend, so that should be fun. <laughs> oh yes! Hey, you got the hope that there's a there's a cameo from Wario inside the Mario movie. Yes. I bet Wario is gonna be like uh, hinted as the villain for the sequel. We'll be seeing it with a friend and her foster kid when it comes out. Thought it looked like a fun time. It does look fun. Like. Putting aside the fact that I'm still not convinced about Chris Pratt as Mario, the movie looks fun. Uh, and some of the references they've been doing has convinced me, like, they're putting a lot of extra care in it. Like, the references to the Super Show made me happy, because I used to watch that stuff. Uh, I mean, it, that show aired before I was born, but... They used to have reruns of it, and, uh... We used to get cassette tapes with that TV show. It was great. Mario doesn't have a ton of nostalgia for you, so you think he'll go in with an open mind. Huh. From what I've heard, the movie has something for everyone, so like... The very old school fans will get something, and then people that are new to the series will enjoy it. I mean, honestly, you've, you've got... You've got Charlie Day being Luigi. Like, I think that's a perfect cast for Luigi. Charlie Day does an excellent, nervous person. And then, you know, Jack Black as Bowser and... Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, man. You don't know people? <laughs> well, they're good comedic actors, I guess is the thing. Okay. Thought that might work. This game is cute and it's pretty fun. What is going on with this village that allows so many children to just fall into problems, you know? Hmm, dear me. It looks like all of the other children who are playing on the park's pool blocks may have been trapped as well. You've made it through these practice pool blocks, alright? But the pool blocks from here on out will be more challenging. If you find yourself really stumped by one of the pool blocks up ahead, just press... Okay, go skip. Nah. We're not doing that. Okay, keep in mind that if the children stuck inside the pool blocks you skip will remain trapped. So if you skip pool blocks, promise me that you'll come back to it later. Why would there be pool blocks in parks if children get stuck in them? I know, right? Like... This clearly doesn't take place in America because... There'd be litigation immediately, and then all the pool blocks would be taken away from all the parks. I do find it really interesting though, because... I mean, when growing up, there was a lot of games that, uh... In America, they named them differently compared to Europe and Australia. But that stopped, uh, I don't know when, but they stopped doing it, and yet for this... So, Americans preferred push, and then everywhere else was pull? I don't know, I, I find that interesting. Nah, we Americans, we don't pull, we push. 
fuck you want to pull for. It's all about pushing. Even though the game, you're you're really pulling. Like, there's no pushing, really. Unless you need to adjust yourself. There's more pulling than pushing. Just saying. <laughs> um. Ah, it's you, Karen. What is it? I just wanted to let you know that I've been finishing getting the training area ready. What, you did? Why, well, that's great. A training area is a place where you can practice some basic climbing moves. Karin here made all of the pool blocks there himself. Marley, if you ever feel like those pool blocks in the park are too hard, you should come and visit the forest to the left of the park. That's where the training area is, so we can practice together. I'll be waiting, okay? See you later. <laughs> so Karin is trapping kids. Karin's the real villain of the game. Yeah. Oh, he's always so full of energy. He's actually- he's- He actually has quite an eye for his work, and a bright fuchsia, I'd say. I'm very proud of him. Now then, we should really get going. There are children to rescue. You know what I can see very easily? I don't know who this was developed by. But if Nintendo would have to allow them to use Kirby, imagine Kirby characters in this. Like, this would have... I feel like this would be so much better known as a Kirby game, I don't know. The art styles are, like, pretty similar. It's a cutesy setting. Like, imagine Kirby doing this. And then you have to rescue the Waddle Dees. Oh, Mala, I've been meaning to ask you something. Have you been using the right stick? No. You can view blocks from different angles. Okay. I love how we get told about a training area. Like, this is basically training. Already. Proud of him. Now let's go rescue the children trapped in his inventions. <laughs> it's it's a user error, cl clearly. It's a skill issue. It's a skill issue. Hmm. Interesting. I think I need to do the same thing I did before, which was... Wait, now push it in. Yeah, there we go. I love how you can push everything back in. And effectively crush the child. Like, look. <laughs> I don't think this works. I thought that was the trick to it, but it's not. Doesn't go any further out. This one does. Okay, and now maybe. It needs to go out one further. But I don't think it can. If this was Catherine, I'd be able to go out one further. Oh, but see, we can do it that way. Can't push it while we're on it. Hmm. What am I missing here? I love how the message beforehand was just, hey, if it's too hard, you can skip. I thought this would it, this would be the answer, but you can't make the jump. Huh. 
out. Okay, now I can. Alright, there we go. I'll try not to have it so you're internally screaming. <laughs> it's still early here, but I don't plan to play this too late. I figured this would be a nice way to facilitate the conversation of that it sucks that the eShops are shutting down. Getting more intricate. How? On... Do you know how sometimes you, you just see a child get into some trouble and you just wonder how? You know? Like, how? I did some dumb things as a kid, but nothing to this extent. Hmm. Okay, I'm forgetting the golden rule, which is, no, not do that, that, that can come out now. Okay, and now undo, pull it out, I got this. <laughs> I just love the premise, it's just stranded children in a playground, it just keeps happening. Do you know what typically happened here if a child got gravely injured or something bad happened in the playground? That play equipment was torn down. Like, immediately. <laughs> there was... There was no messing around here. It's just like, oh, yeah. Probably should tear this down before it happens to someone else. Pull this out somehow, so this needs to come out one more. Okay. They can from here. Yeah, okay, this is easy. Can I slide things flat from the up from the side? You mean like pull them inwards? Yeah. Anything can be adjusted from the side, so you can go front or side. As long as you can grab it. Here, like, I can't grab it, but here, if I was to do this, I can't go in, but I can go out and back in. I do need this to happen, but the problem is now, hmm. Okay, I did it wrong. Okay, 
Uh oh. I might be in trouble. How far back can I go? Okay. Oh, just. This is the one that needs to come out more. So if I work quick enough, I can undo the whole thing. <laughs> what are these children made out of, honestly? What? Oh, this one's interesting. I could see that. That doesn't help either. Restart. Okay. Let's just take it one step at a time. So it has to come out two as a minimum. That's as far as that can go. But how do I how do I climb though? This this is the thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I just need to repeat that again. All right. So. see what I did again.
I was thinking. I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just... Uh, I got lost in thought. Sometimes when it comes to these puzzle games, I'll, especially if I get stuck, I'll just enter sort of a trance and just try to solve it because I, I need to give myself a minute. Right analog stick really doesn't help that much. <laughs> As far as I can take that one. Okay. I don't think there's any value to doing that. But do that, I can't climb back up. I wish I could do this, <laughs> but no. Oh, you can give hints? Okay, well. Is it going to be a hint or a hint, you know? The one that points out the obvious. doesn't go out any further. I don't have the room to do it. Okay, there we go. It goes out one further. 
he knows how to rescue the children, but wants you to figure it out. <laughs> oh well, I got it. Child is crying. He knows the answer. Oh no, no, you can, you, you got this. No, oh, it's okay. What if the old man is responsible for this? Before you tackle a big pool blocks like this, you should take a good look at it in its entirety. That'll help you work out how to climb it. Seeing everything's handy while climbing too. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I mean, this one should just be... How did, how did I even jump out there? Can I use D-pad? I can use D-pad. Okay, D-pad better. Ha! What? Oh, it's the, it's the same thing as before. How did I do that before? No, but this, I can't do the same thing again, can I? Oh, it's two independent pieces. Okay, that makes sense. the wrong way around. <laughs> ah. Wait, but then it's the same problem, isn't it? this one to pull this one out further. Is that even possible? I wonder if this game got a different name in North America because of Ro Roblox? I don't know. It's not... I mean, what, not allowed to use the word blocks? There are plenty of things that have the name blocks in it. I mean, possibly. To avoid confusion? I, I guess, I don't know. How on earth am I going to transfer? Because once I'm up here, I can't really alter it. Was Roblox big outside of NA? Yeah. My younger cousins love Roblox. But there's other toys that have had blocks in it. Like, there's knockoff Lego that has... Uh, 
I forgot what it's called, but it's definitely like blocks. It's possible they made that decision not because it was a problem, but maybe to prevent a problem. I can see it being like a preemptive thing. Like, no, no, let's not, let's not take a gamble. I mean, I understand how this works, it's just how to transfer across from a height perspective. That's the part that I'm like. Because there's no way I can just, yeah, it doesn't work. So... What do? Let me try the other way, because maybe I, I had it right to begin with. A sequel to Pushmo is called Crashmo, known in PAL region as four blocks. Yeah, there's three of them. And they're all named differently. Okay. That's fine. I don't know what to say, like... It, it doesn't usually happen these days. This game is, is not as easy as I thought it would be, you know? I just bone myself. <laughs> yeah, there. Don't pull that one out. Do this. Okay, so I think I have to work at it. This is going to be a tricky one to do. You like how? Not helpful the map is. Oh, it's just a 2D representation. Yeah, it's not useful in the slightest. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's something. Close, but not quite. Aha! None. Still not there. Now this one needs to go in one. How do I? I feel like I'm on- I'm on the verge here. I can't grab- I can't just grab that one. This one needs to come out one more somehow. I'm 
not sure how I would achieve that. I've deemed this level impossible. No, no, no. There, there's a solution. Just have to employ the galaxy brain. Attain the higher level of being, and then you can finish the stage. Get that one out one more. Yep, yeah, like that. And then like that. Oh, this one can't move. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I thought I had it. Maybe I had the right call here. It's not impossible, it's just annoying. Need this to be able to come out one more and then that's it. Okay, there we go. See? Just have to think. Have to use all that training I got from Catherine. I feel like I was always able to do that anyway. Let's pull this this way. I think this is problematic either way. sure what this achieves.
Oh, okay. I, I see. Sort of. Wait, no, it doesn't work. What? I can't figure out how to climb. This is one of these things that I'm just not seeing this time. This stage. Uh, there's something there's something that I'm missing that I'm not seeing here. What is it? There's a way to climb, I'm just not sure what it is just yet. Gonna rule this one as impossible as well. out as much as I want here, but that makes no difference. to be moved. Look at that, all done. <laughs> I don't wanna s I don't wanna see the word stamp. <laughs> I don't wanna see mention of the Miiverse. Ah, <laughs> uh, but my, my, my back. Oh, Mallow, I'm sorry to make you worry about me. Ah! Boss, Mallow. A ship from World Pool Blocks Fair just arrived. Oh, well, that's right. Starting from today, ships will be available to ferry us over to World Pool Blocks Fair. World Pool Blocks Fair is a marvelous place where 
Pull blocks from all over the world are collected. You can try out all sorts of pull blocks there and leave your feedback about them. Yeah, basically talking about a feature that is now shut down. It's, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, cool. But, you know, things aren't eternal, so... Okay, now, now, you needn't worry about me. I'm counting on you to save those children. Okay. I mean, we're, we're halfway through this already. Now we're doing murals. Now we get to, uh... Work with a cow. There are 250 levels, really? <laughs> Why is it organized in worlds? I mean, cool, that's a lot of content. I just saw six worlds, unless it's just gonna increase the amount required per world. <laughs> that's a lot of trap children. It's like an epidemic, just... <laughs> Why is no one doing anything about this? Why is it not on the news? Do you know how many families that would affect? <laughs> just... Ridiculous. This one was pretty straightforward. I don't know if I'm getting better or this is a lot easier than before. I mean, that's pretty good value, 250 levels. I don't know how many we'll see before we move on to Phantom Hourglass, but... Guess the things we lose. I think I'm doing a lot better in these now. I've just sped through the last few. There's no time on it, so it's not like I'm, I'm getting good records here. <laughs> but I'm feeling smart. I'm not struggling on them as I was. Okay, 
Look, I kind of get the gist of most of them now. It, they seem to follow a, a similar theme, which is just use this use this particular tactic as much as you can. Are the stars the difficulty? I would think so. I mean, perceived difficulty, I guess. Two star. Were well, the other ones higher star? Three star? Okay. This one works a little bit differently. <laughs> Rotund Squirrel. It's like a Pokemon. Oh no. I thought that would work. Oh wait, it will. Just need to pull this out. There we go. And then... All the way out. Hey! Give myself enough room. Okay, this one was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> it was just the start that was a bit rough. What is- what is that? I can't tell what that is. too far. Do the levels have names? This is called number 27, so... <laughs> Guess the answer to that is no. Oh no, undo. Wait, I can't pull this in anymore. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Oh, yes, I can. I can do that. Okay, there we go. It needs to go out one more. Wait, how is that gonna happen?
Do each of these have to go out one more? Wait, no, they can't. That's max, right? Yeah, that, that one's already at max. So, okay, what do I need to do? <laughs> that must be very painful. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of looks like a bee or a wasp, but it's blue. It could just be a fly. I mean, if we go, okay, if we go by the wings of this, it's something with wings. I just don't know what it is. Oh, wait, it says, hang on. Cly Clion? Cleone? I've never heard of that. What is that? It is a genus of a small floating sea slug. Ah, uh, I think this is what they call the sea butterfly. Like, now that I see this, like an Animal Crossing, you can catch one of these. But they don't call it that. Okay, so there you go. I think I just screwed myself. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Looked oddly familiar. Yeah! I had the same feeling, and then, it, yeah, as soon as I saw it, what it was, I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> I know these sort of puzzle games aren't for everyone, but, you know, I like to show different games here. And, I guess, hey, there's still a few- there's still a, li a little bit of time to buy this one. Before you have to sail the seven seas. I mean, the 3DS versions are, are good as well. We are climbing Burb. Can this go out one more? No, apparently not. Okay. Definitely missed the point of this one. Yeah, this is a three-star one. You can see the difference. Okay, so there's something I will need to pull out even more. If I want to succeed here. It's this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're okay. We 
which I think actually this one can go out even one more. Yeah, it can. Okay, I think I got this now. Maybe. Now, how do I pull that one out? I've got the end part correct. Now it's just a matter of solving this. Oh, no. Undo. Catastrophic. Okay. And then that. This can come out. Depends if this jump is something I can make. It might not be. come out one more. Or there's, there's probably another way to do it. How can I do it? Okay, hang on. pull this out any further. But I'm kind of stuck here now. Like, if I fall, I fall. It's bad, right? Like, I don't think I can climb this again. Okay, hang on. to not soft lock myself so before I do this I'll stop it <laughs> keep falling okay I can't pull this back in it's a problem may have caused a problem here that I can't fix. Potentially. That's a lot more room. Okay, this might be doable now. Yeah. That's what we want. That's what- okay, this is what we want, but like, I need to be able to climb up again. Which I think I've- I've kinda... I've screwed myself on that one. 
I don't think there's any way to fix it once this is done, so, okay. I might have to start again. I know that sounds horrible, but... Okay. I think I know what I need to do to get this right now. Like, I can't go too far with this. I need to be able to climb, climb up it again at the end of the day. The moment this cut, well, I guess I can do this temporarily, right? So I can do this and then the. Okay. Okay. This is undoable. As long as I have that there, I can take it back. I can fix it. Okay, so... This can be out as far as I want it to. Okay, now we've reached this point here. Now I need to make sure I don't soft lock myself here. Okay, hold on. Just, I just need to see how far I can take this. Okay, and then, all right, now we do this. Pull it in, pull it out. Soft lock myself. The problem is when this is out, I can't do anything about it. I think I have to do this and then push it in. the end part correct it's just how do I I'll figure I'll try and figure it out One step too. No, but can I? No, I can't. I can't. Oh. oh. Hang on. Undo. Oh, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm on the verge of, of getting this.
trying to think what I'm trying to do here. I don't think I can grab... Because I want to pull this out one more, but I don't think I can. I don't think it, it's ever going to be allowed. Okay, apparently I can do that. Maybe that's the key. Hold on. do here? Why is this not working now? What did I do differently? Oh, I see. No, but that doesn't go out any further. This is... Oh! Yo! <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Oh, it's Babby stage. This should be... Oops. Oh, I'm back to map. We got the Bobby stage now. Okay, let's see how long Bobby stage takes. So that's what we have to climb to. This is quite the stage. <laughs> Climb on Babby's eye. That's fine. How 
horrifying. Okay, yeah, I can see a problem with this now. Because then, if I go here, how do I climb back up? one layer. There we go. Because we should be able to climb Babby Face still. Ideal. Hang on. Undo, 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 undo. Needs to go in. Oh no. still pull it in. We're good, we're good. Now there's no real direction. I can't pull that out one more. Yeah, I did this wrong. I think it's fixable. Yeah, and then push that in. This is the one that should be out. And then this one is just like this. It's just a lot of back and forth. Oh no. God oh, damn it. <laughs> Push it in. Okay. Wait, 
Wait, that was that necessary? Hold on. I guess it kind of is, so... Oh, I see, I see. Sort of. Wait, does that even... No, it doesn't even work. Should be able to do this now. I'm not really sure what that's achieving. How do I climb further? I feel like I'm stuck now. of see what I need to do, it's just... I don't know if it's a reality. <laughs> this stage is, is tricky. to this point, but it's still, I can't climb. This needs to come out one more somehow. That's the only way I can realistically see that happening, but... Okay, here's a question. Do I need this all the way out? Maybe I don't. Uh oh 
Now, let's see, where am I gonna land now? I suppose I can still land like that. So tricky. I don't think that helped in the slightest. I still have the same problem. Come on, I can make that jump. <laughs> I feel like I'm close to the solution. This needs a faster rewind. What is the value of having the diaper expanded out so far? I'm not sure how to climb to the next height, that's the part that I'm struggling with. I think I've also kind of messed myself up here. Alright, I'm gonna start again. I think this needs fresh eyes. I think the base is always correct. This is what I do at this part here. So this is about as correct as I can be right now.
What did I do here that's wrong? Or does this need to come out one more? Okay, hang on here. Why is this so wrong? Okay. That should fix that. This is the part that I'm not seeing. I can't climb this side and I can't climb the other side, so what? How are you supposed to make a step? I need to be able to push the... F oh, no, 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 like this. There we go. Okay. Okay, I overcomplicated it. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a clean slate it. Babby stage complete. Challenge looks different. It looks like we got a new format here. You've been working very hard, lad. I thought I'd wait for you here, because you might need help with these next ones. From here on out, you'll be seeing... Pull blocks with gadgets. Blocks that feature gadgets are marked with special symbols. Okay. Let's get you started. There's a switch. Activate by jumping on top of it. Go ahead, try it. Did that surprise you? Okay. Pull out blocks you'd otherwise be unable to move. And then this retracts? Oh no, it's just that. Okay. So this does get way more intricate. Kind of switch, huh? Different direction. It's a pull in switch. Push back, okay. Just, 
<laughs> I'll undo it. Why not? I mean, the fact that this comes up in a level designer, I imagine people would have done elaborate things with this. It's fine. It still sort of works. There we go. This does make it a lot more interesting. Okay. Should be able to. There we go. Yeah, these stages are pretty neat. I like them. I say that, but it's probably going to get more complicated soon. simple. This is going to retract it. I can just leap over it, okay. That should work, and then just fall back in here. There 
There we go. Kind of. It doesn't go in one more. How do I get it to go in one more? Oh, wait. There we go. making things worse here. Yeah. Okay, how do we climb? Maybe I need to push the button later. Let's see, that's all that's gonna do. reach the same spot again. <laughs> just, it doesn't help it. Hmm. Okay, it works that way. Then why would you want that? I'm not sure I got this one. There's gotta be like an order of operations here. <laughs> Okay, hang on. Mm. I'm always standing on a pace. I do push this back. I can't climb at this point. Stumping me a little. Yeah. <laughs> 
doesn't help. What? Oh, push C. Okay, that works. So I need to be able to push it. Okay, so I, I see what I need to do. It's just how to go about it. This is as far as I can go. This is the part that I can't figure out. How do I get to this? <laughs> Button will always push it out. Like even if I have this like this, it still brings it out entirely, and there's no way to push it back. There's got to be something I'm not seeing. I can't, I can't climb up here. Thanks. Unless I were to push it one more in. Okay, hang on. Maybe that's the solution. But then here I can't. Okay. Trying different things here. Does that change anything? I don't think it does. Oh wait, yes it does. Okay, there we go. Jeez. I have a complicated that one. Okay. <laughs> sometimes it clicks, sometimes it... Just, you feel like a dummy afterwards for not saying the obvious. Okay, so that's purely what that does. Alright, now I know. Squandered it, I had it. Okay, okay. Just a couple more left. I'm 
don't think it would be that simple, so... I guess I should build the tower myself. Solved. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, let's finish this world off and I think we'll, we'll leave it here. But I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Okay. I think the key here is just to set that up. needs to be out one more. Okay, we can fix it. We can undo it. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This, this, this is gonna work. And then do the same here. Pull it back. That's what it needs to be. Okay, hold on. this the wrong way around. Okay. Obviously I'm stuck now. Ah! Okay. Do it again. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave 
pull blocks slash push mo here. But this is something I felt it was worth checking out just to, uh, I guess, also facilitate the conversation of the eShop for the Wii U and the 3DS closing down. So, I mean, there are a bunch of games that have digital-only releases and uh, just... After today, there won't be any legal means of acquiring them, really, unless they get re-released, so... It's just unfortunate. It's just... This is why I tend to purchase my games physically where possible, because when this happens, it's just... <sighs> if the game is still available physically, the price of the game just goes up because of eBayers. Or in the case of something like this, it's just, well, unless we get a re-release or you resort to less than legal means, it's just kind of lost, and it's kind of sad, so. I think I will do more of this one, though. I I am enjoying it quite a bit, so I think I'll use this as another, like, hey, I want to kick back and chill. We'll do some puzzle games and, you know, I, I can just relax and have a beverage or something, so. That's what I'm going to use this one as. And, of course, some of the, you'll see some of the uh, other games that I purchased during this eShop shutdown in the future sometime, I'm sure. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this so far, and yeah, let me know in comments on YouTube later if you have, and thoughts on eShop and digital purchases as closure, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take a short intermission. I'm gonna set up for uh, Phantom Hourglass, and we're gonna play that next, so don't go anywhere, get a snack or something, and uh, I'll be back shortly. But if you are here for the game with adorable characters that have children trapped in block playgrounds, then thanks for watching. <laughs>